This is the Tempest Weather System, a personal weather station for your home, but I'm not using it to check the weather. Two years ago, I had a couple frustrations. The first was that my irrigation system would routinely water my lawn while it was raining. This was bad for the environment and for my budget. The second was that the outdoor lights on my home turned on and off using a smart home automation, but they weren't actually turning on when I needed the light. As disconnected as these two issues may seem, I found the solution for both in the same place, the Tempest weather system. In this video, I'm going to review the Tempest weather system that I purchased with my own money and have been using for two years. I'll show you how it works, what I like and what I dislike, and how I'm using it to address those two frustrations. Let's do this. Let's be honest, getting the weather forecast has never been easier. My iPhone has a built-in weather app with a treasure trove of weather information. I didn't need more weather forecast data. What I needed was data about what was happening on my property in real time. My iPhone weather app could not give this to me. So I went looking at personal weather stations. Now I had five requirements for choosing a weather station. First, it had to have a rain sensor, which I would use to automate my irrigation system. Second, it also needed a brightness sensor, which I would use to automate my outdoor lights. Third, I wanted it to be fully wireless, no plugging in power cords or charging batteries. Fourth, I was looking for a simple DIY install, no professional installer needed. And fifth, it had to be compatible with Reikio smart watering devices, my irrigation system, and Home Assistant, my smart home hub. The intersection of all these requirements led me to the Tempest weather system. Let's take a closer look at this device. First off, it's amazingly compact at about eight inches tall, by four inches wide. Starting at the top, it has a light sensor for detecting the ambient light level and UV index. Also at the top is a haptic rain sensor, which uses vibration to tell you when it's raining outside, for how long, the intensity, and the accumulation. Moving down, it has a sonic wind sensor that measures the wind speed and direction every three seconds, along with pressure, temperature, and humidity sensors. It also has a built-in lightning sensor for detecting the number of lightning strikes at a distance up to 40 kilometers. It's completely wireless with a solar panel for powering the device and it connects to your home's Wi-Fi. It also mounts quickly and easily to a pole or fence. And it integrates directly with Reiki and Home Assistant. I can use an iOS app or widget to see real-time weather and the forecast. Installation was super simple. I just screwed it to the top of a wooden fence post. Probably took me about three minutes. Since there are no moving parts, there isn't much to break, so this thing should last a long time. No moving parts is rare for a full featured weather station like this. I have the included Wi-Fi hub some 50 feet away behind a cabinet and it connects just fine to the Tempest. The app for viewing weather data is good, not great. I don't love the interface and I can get more granular forecast data with the stock iOS weather app. I do like the ability to view weather history which has come in handy more than once. Since the rain sensor is haptic, it measures the intensity and frequency of drops hitting the top and uses a calculation to determine the actual rainfall. It seems to have an accuracy of plus or minus 10%. The haptic sensor is smart enough to ignore things like a bird or a squirrel jumping on top and it can send you a push notification when it started raining. You can also get real-time alerts when a lightning strike is detected, but I turned that off as it was too frequent and not that helpful to me. My biggest complaint about the Tempest is the wind sensor, which seems less reliable. Even on days with a wind advisory, warning, and gusts over 50 miles per hour that I can feel in my yard, the Tempest rarely reports wind speeds over five miles an hour. I recognize positioning can have a lot to do with wind readings, though I have mine at the suggested height of six to eight feet off the ground and in a relatively open area. So what am I doing with this thing? Let's go back to the two frustrations that I shared at the beginning. First, I wanted my irrigation system to stop watering my lawn during or immediately before and after a rainstorm. I'm using the Reikio smart watering system, which I like, but it's built-in intelligence to avoid watering around rain was unreliable because it didn't know the actual real-time conditions in my yard. By connecting Tempest to the Reikio app, 
my irrigation system and now uses actual rainfall data at my home to determine when to avoid turning on the sprinklers. This helps save me money on my water bill and is better for water conservation. It also is one less thing for me to think about so I can spend my time on other things. Second, I wanted my outdoor lights to turn on when it was getting dark. Previously, I had my outdoor lights turn on at sunset. However, sunset doesn't always correlate with when it's getting dark outside. A late afternoon summer storm can make it get really dark really fast. By connecting Tempest to Home Assistant, my smart home hub, I now use the ambient light sensor on the weather station to know when it's dark outside and can use that to trigger my outdoor lights to turn on. Of course, those are just two examples, but pairing Tempest with Home Assistant would allow you to create any type of home automation based on weather conditions. A notification to bring in the deck cushions if it's raining. An alert to bring the kids inside when lightning is detected. You could also integrate Tempest with Amazon's voice assistant and if this then that applets if that's something that you use. Should you get a Tempest weather system? I think if you're trying to solve for the same frustrations that I mentioned, especially by connecting it to a smart irrigation system, you'll be happy with this. If you're someone who just can't get enough data, then you may also enjoy the weather history tracking. If you're just looking to track the temperature or humidity at your home, this is probably overkill. I paid $329 for this device, so it wasn't cheap, but it does open a whole new spectrum of home automation possibilities. And for that, I've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or what your experience has been with Tempest. And let me know how you're using a personal weather station in your smart home automations. If you're interested in energy saving smart home automations, then you'll wanna check out the video here. Hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.